The bull is looking away in disgust at the massive amount of misinformation in this industry. So face the music bull. Today, we're going to talk about technique and this idea of how does one actually build a viable, promising trading business and what it, what it takes uh, to do that. And it's a, it's a marriage of knowledge application and also, uh, as we're going to find out, technique. And so by the end of this video, you're going to understand exactly what you need to do uh, in order to virtually assure your success over time. And that's not something that a lot of people are talking about. Um, because this, uh, the trading and education industry is, is such a, it's such a mess. Uh, my name is Frank Bunn. I've been teaching people how to do this, not only how to trade, but knowledge, but application, how to build statistical arbitrage models since, uh, Walmart only had two locations. So it's, it's, uh, it's been a while. All right. So let's, let's jump right in and we're going to take a look at exactly what happens, what the, the path that most people go down in terms of, of learning how to trade and where this goes off the rails. So the education process is, is really very, very shaky. You know, you've got, you have online courses, you know, you have gurus. Um, people will learn specific techniques. They'll learn a specific indicator. They'll try a certain type of market. And then ultimately it, it leads to this hamster wheel of of continuing back around when they either quote unquote things don't work or they have excessive loss or they can't control risk. So very only under very specific circumstances will the student randomly achieve everything that he or she needs in either to, in order to put this together because it's just not designed that way. And um, that's, that's the problem. So what happens when that, when that system breaks down, the student then begins to approach trading from probably the, the, the worst aspect of it, which means now he or she starts to look at social media validation, um, what other people are doing. They'll find signal services where they actually get uh, someone to tell them exactly what to buy, what to sell. And in other cases, they just continue on the hamster wheel of, of one course after another, another webinar, another this. This all becomes this this confused mess. And you can see that there's no, there's no way where the rubber hits the road that this actually comes together and, and forms a, 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 a viable, cohesive model for actually pulling this off. So let's take a look at exactly what, you know, what, so what do you have to do so that you can avoid all of these, all of these pitfalls? So the first thing that, that, that we understand is, okay, so we have knowledge. So under knowledge, you know, we've got the risk game. So the, the, the trader understands um, the risk game of taking one times risk and getting five to 10 times risk, which we've talked about quite a number of times, okay, risk game. So this also includes, um, you know, how to trade. And we've talked about that before too, if you've seen the other, other videos. Okay, so student basically has a knowledge of, and what this equals are, what's called the LRE is the low risk entry. So the, the trader learns how to consistently over time take low risk entries in within that risk game. But unfortunately that's only one, one small component of, of what actually has to happen. So that, that knowledge is then compartmentalized, right? And this is one of these games where the market is one of these games because of variation, because of we're human, because of time, uh, all manner of restrictions that you can actually know uh, exactly how to trade, but never pull it off. And so the difference then, the defining factor is application. And this application is technique. Okay, how do you actually do that? How do you actually do that? So what you're gonna need to do is this technique now comprises a, a model? So we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna build a model, all right? And that model has to be closed. It has to be a closed group of variables. So a closed group of variables, meaning the trader has taken his knowledge of low risk entries and reduced it to exactly what he or she needs 
in order to produce the, uh, the, the, the trigger and determine the entry. And so that's going to have to do with price action, momentum, and context. And this is something that we talk about in the office all the time. Okay. So each one of these models becomes a close. It may, it, it, it won't include anything outside of that. The trader gets out of their head. They get out of the news. They get out of whatever. It's exactly what price, momentum, and context is telling them. Those, these closed models then, okay, are run in batches of 20 to 25 or more triggers. All right. So it's tested. That is, so we can see then because we've closed it and we've controlled it, it's something that can be repeated. And it can be repeated over and over, like, like wash, rinse, repeat. Okay, so once this is tested, then the, the model's either considered viable or not. Now, you can see that if you have a, a very, very low... Um, so now that we understand all of, all of how that technique works with application. So if we have a low-risk entry, all right, with an expectancy of 3 to 5, uh, with expectancy of 3 to 5R... So then let's say we have 20 samples um, and we can get just on a third or a half of them, uh, we can get to, uh, let's just say on, on a half of them, we can get to 3R. And the other half are just full on 1R losses. Okay. So that's 30R, 30 times risk on 10. And on another 10, that's 10 in loss. So you can net 20R, right? You don't actually have to be uh, a fantastic analyst. You just need to be able to consistently spot low risk entries that reject price, right? That's the knowledge about how to trade. Okay, so what your models do then over time as your trading business grows is you focus on what determines that, that output can I increase my target? Can I reduce my loss? Can I, can I use uh, break-even tactics? Um, whatever, whatever management tactics are required. So you can see how there's a whole lot more to actually pulling this off than just simply knowing how, um, knowing how to do it. So now there's, a, there's a, just another couple of factors that go, go into this is the fact that, okay, you know, when you talk about the gambler, you know, I always talk about the gambler. The gambler might be a gambler or gambling could be gambling for you or me. But for someone that actually does it, they can do three things. And we talk about this all the time. They know how to bet properly. Um, they can play long enough and they don't disregard the odds. So that's that's the, the final component is playing long enough. You got to stay at the table long enough to make the sample. This is something that traders never consider because there's a, there's a scale, all right, of, we've talked about this before too, where skill, all right, if the requirement is very low in terms of skill, the trader, you know, the trader is bored. If too much skill is required, that is to say, if it's, if, if getting on the sample is just too difficult, that is there's too much analysis, it takes the trader too long, he has issues with market, uh, you know, uh, market mechanics or whatever, then what happens is there becomes this sliding scale to demoralization, all right? And that's the death knell because once, once the trader can't finish the sample, then um, he or she cannot play long enough. And so there's this whole host of, of things that go on when we bridge the gap between knowledge and application. And so at least now, you know exactly what you need to do in order to bridge that gap. You begin with the knowledge of how to trade and the low risk entry. And then you work on building a viable long-term stat art model. And it's something that can grow and you can perfect over time. That's, that's trading. That's how you do this. Um, that's how we do it here every day. And that's how you can guarantee virtually uh, your long-term success or the model is kicked out and you try another one. All right. That's it for me today. Um, hope that answers all the questions that I've been getting about technique. I will see you next time. Have a good one.